So question 5A, an electricity company has established that the weekly number of occurrences of lightning striking transformers for rows of poison distribution with a mean of 0.4 per week required. Probability that no transformer will be struck by lightning in a week. Probability that at most two transformers will be struck by lightning in a week. So, the question of May 2018, question uh, 5A is on what we call poison, poison probability distribution, Poisson probability distribution. So the formula for Poisson probability that X is equal to X, we know it's given as E minus lambda, lambda you raise by X, Rabda, you raise to power x, you divide by x factorial. And remember, Rabda is the mean. So we are told in this question, the mean is 0 0.4 per week. So when they ask, no transformer, no transformer track, in this case, X is equal to Z. So probability that X is equal to zero will be equal to E, you raise to power minus 0 0.4 times 0 0.4, you raise to power zero, you divide by zero factorial. You divide by zero factorial. So with that now, I told you when you are uh, when you are using the exponential, the first thing you could have the E button. This one for the E, so you take on a press shift that E. Then you not have the icon factorial, the one that has factorial. Then you take on a press shift factorial. So let's start. And then we are also going for the negative. Unatumia ika button, this one that has a negative. That's the one that you use. So let's start. You say shift E. So you have E on the screen. Then you press minus 0 0.4. Kwanza unasema equals. Then you say times. 0 0.4, which is raised to power 0, equals. 
Then you say divide by zero, shift factorial, and the answer, send me the answer to two decimals. Send me the answer to two decimals. Yeah, good, 0 0.67, two decimals, that is 0 0.67. And next, probability that at most two transformers will be struck. At most, two transformers. Two transformers will be struck. Will be struck. So in that case, our x will be, when you are told at most, it will be zero or one or two. You don't want more than that. So Sasa the probability of x being less than or equal to two, that is at most, it will be e raised to the power minus 0.4 times 0 0.4, you raise to the power zero, you divide this by zero factorial, plus e raised to the power minus 0.4, Multiplied by 0 0.4, you raise to power 1. You divide by 0, not 0, we are now power 1. You divide by 1 plus E raised to power minus 0 0.4 times 0 0.4 raised to power 2. You divide by 2 factorial we get the answer. So if we go by what we have said, two decimals, this is 0 0.67, uh, shift, natural rule, minus 0.4 equals times 0.4. Divide by one to two decimals, I have 0 0.27 plus zero point zero five. And if I'm going by that, hey, very high. Are you getting that? Oh, 0 0.99. It's a very high value. But it's okay, as long as I can put the one. Are we through with that? Are we through? Okay.
part B, that one we can see clearly is from a uh, network. Network analysis. It is a question of network analysis. This is network analysis. And is what we call part project appraisal. So I think we can just go straight. We have the activity here. Have the activity. Now the activity we compute the expected time, which is given as A plus 4M plus B, you divide by six, and we normally designate it as T. Then we have variance. Variance is given as B minus A, you divide by six, and that is delta square. So for activity A, A is two plus four times four plus 12, you divide by six. Then this will be 12 minus two, you divide by six, you square this. You go to B, do the same thing, same as 10, plus four times 12, plus 26, you divide by six. Then 26 minus 10, you divide by six. Then C, it will be eight plus four times nine, plus 10, you divide by six. 10 minus 8, you divide by 6. So continue that way on your own. And once you have everything, you say finished so that we draw the diagram together.
Yeah. Only five persons are finished. The others, are, you know, time is moving. Only five persons. Come on, Marisa Adika, so that I move. Okay, only two persons have not said when they are finished. So let us try now to come up with the with a sketch. Let's try to come up with a sketch. Sketch. So you can see here, A is not preceded, B is also not preceded, but as A is preceding three activities, that is C, D, E, preceding three activities. Then F is preceded by B, C, so I change uh, C here, this one I can make it E, so that B, C here, they precede F. Then G is preceded by D here. And then H is preceded by E, F. E, F, G. Uh -huh. Let me change, let me interchange this one to become my D, so that it precedes G. This is my E, that is my E there. So, uh, E, F, G, they precede H. So, so that we have H there. So that we have H there. So this is A here. Uh, this is B. This is E. This is G. This is H.
So from my workings, let me give you the figures so that you tell me whether you agree or you don't. A, I got five. B is 14. C is nine. B, I got 15. E is eight. F is nine, G is four, and H is five. If you agree with those figures, you say agree. So if we have agreed, let's then quickly do the forward. This is zero plus five, five. Uh, this is uh, 14, those are 14 here. Uh, then this is uh, 20. Then if you add this one, will be 23. This is, uh, so the highest here is 23. And this is 28. 28, this is 23 minus 9. We get 14. Uh, this here is 19. Uh, and, uh, this one is 5. And this is 0. So the critical path. Five is twenty-four. Why twenty-five? 
Good. Now I should be going home. I should be going home. Me now on a 15. I'm seeing 15 began now in the door. So that is very good for the correction. So this one, this one now should change so that this is 24. 24, this is 29, 29, this is 24, this is 20, this is 5, and then this is uh, 15. Yeah, see, Kosa, Kosa, Kosa. So, come to Kosa, the critical is A. And C B has failed. We are beginning with D. You see now, if what uh, D E equal to 15 plus 4, that is 19. Now if what uh, E, we just satisfy it, the only has 8. So the critical is D, G, and H. That is the critical path. So the question now was asking us to get the critical path. Critical path. So critical path. You simply say it is A through D through G through H. So from there now, uh, you need to come here and do something like this. We have critical activity and then variance. So this is A, B, G, and H, then total. So if I give you the figures I had for A, I have 2.78. B, I have also 2.78. G, 0.44. And H, 0. So the total And you confirm whether it is six. The total confirm that. Yeah, it is six. So if it is six. Even without drawing the diagram, to now is uh, the probability of completing within that days. So the probability. Because of the interest of time. I will say Z is equal to X1 minus X bar, you divide by standard deviation. So X1 is 30, the X bar 29, this one you divide by the root of six. So tell me what is the value of Z Are 
using normal probability distribution. We are using normal probability distribution. So set me the figure, this one. Okay, Jude is giving me 0 0.41. So when you are told less than that base, they are talking of within 30. So from the tables, from the tables, probability that X is less than or equal to 30. Uh-huh, add up what you is already. Go to the normal tables and give me this. Uh -huh, 0 0.4082. Oh. 0 0.1591. 1591. So you add 0 0.5 because of the lower side. So the probability will be 0 0.6591. 6591. <clears throat> so we call it a day at that juncture. We call it a day at the juncture. Uh, we meet tomorrow for our last lesson because Brooks are officially ending on Friday. So tomorrow being Thursday will be our last lesson. Uh, it's now official that the exams have been moved to 17, to 17. So what we have thought as a school, we will do a special vision uh, for the next three weeks, starting from Monday, but at an extra cost of 5,000. So if you'd be interested, you can join us on Monday, uh, but officially QA is ending tomorrow. I think then on Friday, you'll have your lesson and remember, on Friday at 11, we have prayers day. Uh, so join us online. We'll be having a prayer session. I think I have sent the message in the group today. So don't be so much worried of what you cannot control. As we said yesterday, all things work it for good. All things work it for good. Uh, 17th of uh, May, 17th of May as well. So just look at it as an opportunity to fine tune what you have not uh, done so that you are able to pass. So 5,000 will be for all the units in a section. And if it's just for one unit, it is 2,500. It's 2,500. Uh, so that we are not uh, idle. Uh, so I think that is okay, Eliana and the others. Have a great evening. Uh, let me rush so that Mr. Fungiwe Kwa Barabara to raise a Thank you.